Hi friends, today I am going to demonstrate to you the technique for bending in basal implantology. So a lot of people they are doing very nice implants but when it comes to bending, I have seen people tell me that their implants have slipped out, their implants have fractured, the ridge has fractured, the ridge has fractured and they are having any lot of problems while bending of the implants. One thing you remember is that you can only bend your implants if they are in good sound cortical. So one of the ways of checking whether you are in cortical is by bending. Which means that if your implant slips while bending, that means you have not engaged the opposing cortical properly. Always remember the bending, amount of bending is a property which is controlled by the elasticity of bone. What I mean by that is, if you have a BCS implant outside the mouth, you can even tie a knot. Okay, that is the amount of bending you can do. Tremendous isoelasticity, but the same BCS implant in the mouth, the bending will be controlled by the elasticity of the ridge. Which means that if I try to bend beyond the point, it is possible and highly likely if the implant is in good torque, the bone will not support it and the bone may fracture. Okay, so the bending is controlled by the bone. Another thing you need to remember is the longer the implant. So let's say for example, I have a 3.523 and I have a 3.510. Obviously, the longer the implant, it is more isoelastic. The wider the implant. So let's say if I have a 5.0 implant and I have a 2.7 implant, the 2.7 implant will be more elastic. So thinner the implant, it is more isoelastic. Longer the implant, it is more elastic. QS implants, you can bend only up to 10 to 15 degrees. BCS implants we already discussed and right now I will show you the technique of bending the implants which is called as the soda bottle technique so as if you are opening a soda bottle so when you place the implant you place the driver on the implant you move your hand as if you are opening a soda bottle and do a oblique direction what I mean by oblique direction is let's say that you have placed the implant buckle to lingual like this never you will bend in the same direction so either I will bend distally or I will bend mesially, but not in the same direction. So if you place the implant this way, and get this lingual cortical, don't bend in this direction. You bend obliquely, either distally or mesially. Okay. So let me demonstrate to you this procedure live. Okay, uh, doctor, just see this. So if you see here, uh, can you make out the angulation? Or is your on? You are able to see? Just first demonstrate how the implants are buckled to the arch okay buckle to the arch and now i will show you how to bend these implants so first i make sure that they are in good cortical okay and now instead of bending this way which is in this direction i will be bending it distally open please as if i am opening a soda bottle see my fingers just take the hand uh, camera back just see this as if I'm opening a soda bottle. Just take more back. Okay, see my hand. Open and now can you just Dr. Puja just show them again? Can you make out the difference now between this implant earlier? This was also in this position and now the corrected angulation. So I hope this small and quick video on intraoral bending was helpful. Thank you very much.